To try out the new features in Just Code, I'm using NerdDinner, an open source ASP.NET MVC project available from nerddinner.codeflex.com. As you can see, the Just Code analysis engine went to work immediately when I opened the solution. It's reporting 7 errors and 612 warnings. It's reporting issues with production.css and layout.cshtml. I'm going to go to this particular issue right here. And we're missing a div tag. This file contains a mix of HTML, JavaScript, and C Sharp. All of my quick fixes, refactorings, and navigations are available depending on the code my cursor's in. So if I click on this and go to Quick Fix, Insert Div, and we're good to go. If I'm inside JavaScript, I have access to navigations and refactorings. And if I am inside C Sharp, same thing, refactorings and navigations. Like I said, it all depends on the context, whether you have quick fixes, refactorings, or navigations available. Let's dig deeper into a view. I'm going to open up the details view. And let's say that when I was writing this, I didn't use dinner. I just made up my own class. I call it event. Do a quick fix here. And I'll use create class event. Okay, so it's created my class event and it's actually put it inside models. So if we look up here, let's create the class inside our models folder. Okay, I don't really want that, so I'm going to undo this change. So let's say I'm going to add a variable here. Bar dinners equals new list dinner. We don't have a reference for dinner, so I need to add a using directive. We have a quick fix for that. See, adding using directives is a little different in Razor since it's basically a giant template. We may add code to a block, but using and imports must be a markup, preceded by an at symbol. And this will take care of it for us. Let's take a look at something else. I'm going to put these out of order. And what I want to do is I want to use just code to do the using directive sorting. But what was that shortcut to do that? Let's bring up the new mappings window. We added a key mapping screen for quick reference. The shortcut here was control shift plus forward slash, but it's available from the menu as well. The shortcut I'm looking for is control shift U. Okay, let's go back here. Control shift U. It sorts our using directives for us. 